Hello and welcome back to Ducascopy TV. It's that time of the week again when we invite Swiss financial newspaper La Jaffe into the Ducascopy TV studio. Over to you, Nicolette. Galena Asset Management offers a range of absolute return commodity funds. As a subsidiary of Trafigura, it has privilege linked with the commodity trading world. Jeremy Weir, its CEO, is here with us today to discuss his new private equity resource fund to be launched shortly and uh, some new initiatives in trade finance. Jeremy, welcome to the studio. Thank you, Nicolette. So, tell us first about your hedge funds. Um, Galena Asset Management is, as you said, is the uh, asset management arm of Trafigura, you know, a large commodity trading company. Um, the business is segmented into four parts. We have an absolute return hedge fund sector, a private equity fund sector, which we're launching, a credit function, and also we have long only products. In the hedge fund space, we have uh, a number of absolute return funds covering our core competencies that exist within the Trafigura group, including oil trading. So we have an oil derivatives fund, uh, metal trading, so a metals derivatives fund covering sort of precious and base metals. We have a macro commodity focused fund, which is uh, looking at relative value between the various commodity sectors and including freight as well. And then we also have a, um, an equity fund, long short equity fund, and also focusing on, on minor uh, resource companies in the, in the mining and uh, energy space. You're launching a new private equity fund focused on mining companies. What is going to be your role in these companies? Um, basically what we're looking to do in this fund is replicating some of the transactions actually we've already done within the Trafigu group. The team which was responsible actually is moving to, to, to Galena to set up this or establish this fund. Basically what we're looking to do is, uh, is source transactions in the uh, small to medium tier resources sector in mining, uh, not in the energy space but in mining, in bulk commodity mining, also non-ferrous mining and precious metals. And looking, to, looking for opportunities to invest in these companies, assist them in their growth, in, assist them in their strategies for development and re-rating from a, uh, a value point of view to the point that you know, they often reach uh, extraction processes or to that, to that, uh, that time in their life and then we would look to exit once that revaluation has taken place. So you're going to be quite an activist shareholder. Absolutely. We um, effectively what we're using is the core companies that, that exist within the team and within the Trafigura group. Within the team, we understand the, the various sort of financial markets, and we do very you know detailed desktop analysis and cash flow analysis. We combine that with a technical competency that exists within the Trafigura group. Uh, the group has mining teams located in Geneva, in Johannesburg, and in Lima. So we access those those teams to do the technical due diligence uh, on these various assets, and we also use the the office network that we have within the Traffic Guru group, which is uh, 80 offices worldwide, uh, utilize the teams to source deals, uh, to assist us in evaluating management and evaluating the political environment within which these uh, assets operate. Now, trade finance is traditionally a field for banks. I Correct. Mean, they've always been the ones financing commodity trading. Uh, why and how are you moving into this new asset class, which is which you are actually creating. Sure, I, look, I, you're right. Trade finance is, has often been the realm of the banking network. Uh, and there's a very strong competency that exists within that banking network, particularly in the European bank, uh, banks. Um, Trafigur as a company, uh, you know, is a heavy utiliser of, of this type of finances because it's financing commodity trade flows globally. Um, however, you know, there are challenges within the banking network at the moment under, under the new sort of Basel III and regulatory environment. The, the capital required for these, uh, for these type of transactions is large relative to the default base. Uh, they're basically, uh, the, these, these type, this type of finance is, is uh, within the same bracket as corporate loans. Uh, whereas the default rates on these type of facilities may be two or three basis points uh, compared to the regulatory capital, which is much greater. Um, we see an opportunity here because it's a very, uh, it's, a, it's a required uh, financing. Uh, trade flow or international trade is not, not shrinking. So with this ca capacity to evaluate the underlying uh, transactions, um, what we've done is established two funds. Uh, one is effectively, if you think of it as stock picking, so we do not originate the transaction that, that competes with the banks. What we do is analyse the various transactions that the banks are looking to syndicate and, and, and providing some leverage against that to provide a diversified portfolio. So you've really got to understand the underlying business, the nature of the transactions to select the portfolio and provide some diversification. And that particular fund returns you know, LIBOR plus 5%. 
and it's very low volatility and the, as I said the default rate is very low, two or three basis points per annum on average. Um, the other type of fund we're looking at is, a, is using the same asset class but very different. It's looking at that, if you like, arbitrage that exists between the regulatory capital required for this business and the default rates. And what we're looking to do with the banks is provide that regulatory capital. Um, the, the banks themselves will, uh, to a particular portfolio I should say, the banks will still maintain part of that portfolio, will provide the regulatory capital for part of that portfolio and it allows them to continue on that business rather than raise capital in either a distressed equity market or are looking to sell down the business to other competitors. Well, Jeremy, good luck with your new fund and thank you for coming here today. Thank you, Nicolette. Thanks, Nicolette. You've been watching Duke Scopy TV. Stay tuned for more exclusive interviews. Goodbye for now.